guys, it's Adrian and Nicholas. There are so many fun things to do on summer vacation, I mean, this summer. What about you, Nicholas? I'm gonna go swimming. Me too. But there might be some times when I get bored. Yeah, it gets too hot to play outside. If you have young kids, the last thing you're probably thinking about is school, but that could be a problem. Time away from the classroom can lead to a serious summer slide. CBS 2's Valerie Castro takes a look at how to prevent a loss of learning. Summer means a break from a busy school routine for Maggie Nielsen's girls, but not a total break from learning. Get them reading or get them, you know, going to museums or studying for a trip we might go on or whatever the case might be. Experts say keeping school skills sharp is vital over the summer to prevent regression. Studies show math and reading skills can decline significantly during summer months if the work isn't kept up at home. A little bit of reading a couple times a week is all it really takes. Dr. Corinne Cross says it's especially important for younger students to keep the momentum going. You don't want to have really pushed it and really tried to learn how to read in kindergarten, first, second grade, and then do nothing for two and a half months because they really do fall behind. Along with reading about 30 minutes a day, experts say parents should encourage their children to write often over the summer, maybe keeping a journal or writing letters, and take time to review school assignments from the previous year. But they stress it's important to find a balance. It's really fun, like when it's not every, always one thing. Mixing in that critical learning <laughs> with a healthy dose of summer fun. Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. And in addition to the museums, maybe you might consider visiting a library or a community center, particularly if there's a hot, sweltering day ahead in the summertime. Do your plans include reading or keeping up with your math skills? Two words, summer homework. This paper is going to go home with your awards envelope. On the back is a gold sheet with your logins and password. Hang it on your refrigerator. Color it in every time you log in. What's the goal? 600 minutes! That's only two times every week. At 30 minutes every time. Hi students and parents, this is Mrs. Birchfield. I know that was a lot of information, so I just want to quickly review. This yellow sheet will go home in the awards envelope. If for some reason you lose it, it will also be online on our Heritage website. But this information just gives you dates. Um, on the back it has the website information and then your students login and password that's specific for their learning track. Um, please have them do a variety of activities in both reading and math. Encourage them to do that because we want them sharp in both areas. And um, we look forward to as much participation as possible. Remember that we are awarding prizes. We're going to do that that first week. So we want as much participation as possible. I want to have to go back to the store and get more prizes. I'm excited to see all that they're doing and all that they learn over the summer. Um, You'll have a great summer and we'll see you back soon. You can do it. If everybody had a nose across the USA.